Hey y'all, it's Hatchet, back on Hatchet's Hooch. I got Matthew with me today. How are you, Matt? Doing good, you? Not bad. Today we're going to try some Captain Morgan private stock. You like spice drum, Matt? Sure do. Yeah? Well, what's your favorite spice drum? I like Captain Morgan, I like Sailor Jerry too. I think Sailor Jerry's much better product than the Captain Morgan. Yeah. That's my opinion. But today we're going to try the private stock. Um... Private stock seems to be a lot smoother than the regular Captain Morgan, a lot smoother, and a uh, favorite of my wife. Uh, Matt, are you allergic to vanilla? No. Smell it. Ooh, it smells very good. That's almost all I smell is vanilla. It smells really good. Spiced rum is uh, aged in an oak barrel. I guess it's oak from the... Caribbean, and uh, ooh, and I can't do two things at one time. Anyway, um, it's it's aged like two years. It's a very young age process, and I think what I read was they put a lot of vanilla in it to help cover up some of the impurity flavors, and probably the private stock they've added a little more vanilla to it. So let's smell it. Oh, I can smell some other spices in there now. Yeah. Hmm. It smells good. It does smell really good. Excited to try this? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Have you had the private stock before? I have not. Oh, okay. All right. Well. Man. So much vanilla flavor. Yeah. That's the majority of the flavor is vanilla. It's almost overpowering, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's not bad, though. I mean, the vanilla is good, but you don't get a whole lot of other flavors. Now, there's some heat there. There's heat on the back side, yeah. Yeah. But I can tell you that the other, the normal Captain Morgan has much more heat, and this is a lot smoother. Yeah. I guess with the, the vanilla. Let's try some ice, Matt. But in. I'm hoping this will bring some of that heat down. It should. It says here on the back, best served, no, savored on the rocks. So, we're going to see the captain's right. Still uh, just a whole lot of vanilla, but yeah. you can't, I mean, you smell no alcohol at all to that. Right. Uh, the first time it had some alcohol to it, but now it's just all vanilla. Hmm. Oh, mighty fine. Vanilla. Yeah, mighty really fine. Good. Um, I've had this mixed in a Coke before, and it's makes the, the Coke, you know, vanilla Coke. But on ice, it's very good. It's good. It is. I mean, I don't know what else to say about the Spice Drum. If you like Spice Drum, this is this is the way to go. Uh, even Sailor Jerry, I think, is a higher proof than the normal Captain Morgan. But, man, this is, it's easy to drink. It's very easy to drink. This, this is, this is like, I mean, it's like drinking... Vanilla water. There's no if you got ice in it, especially there's no there's no heat to that at all. Uh, I can taste a little bit of other spice in it, but mostly vanilla. Good job, Captain Morgan. All right, Matthew, you recommend this to our viewers? Yeah, I think that uh, I think it's definitely worth a try. Um, I like it pretty good. Um. We've been uh, getting this for a while, and they used to have a different bottle. It had, like, little circles around the top. And the people at the liquor store said I was crazy, but I, I seem to like that flavor better than whenever they changed the bottle. They say it's the same recipe, but I don't know. Something about it, it seemed like it wasn't, wasn't as vanilla-y, and it had more other flavors, more spice flavors. But, I mean, this is still good, though. I mean, private stock, you pay a little more for it. I don't remember what this bottle costed, but I want to say it's probably seven, eight dollars more than a normal Cap Morgan. But well worth it, especially if you're going to be drinking it straight. Um, if you're going to mix it, I'd say probably just regular Cap Morgan. Yeah, there's or, no sense in spending the extra money for for that. I mean, this is something that you're going to want to taste just by itself. It's not. It's not really. Definitely. I don't think that you'd want to waste the money mixing it. Yeah, if you're going to mix it, you're going to miss out on the smoothness of this private stock. So. All right, uh, I suggest pick some up and try it if you're a rum fan. Um, 
I hate white rum, but spiced rum is excellent. So, all right. Thanks, guys. See us next time on Hatchet's Hooch.